What's up, guys? My name. Actually, that's let's not go with that uh, intro now because I realize the YouTube algorithm. Actually, I realize just talking about competitive programming rather than actually going over problems actually gives me more views. So from now on, my intro is going to be algorithms, data structures. Welcome to CP. Okay, that's that's what my intro is going to be. Okay. But anyway, today we are not talking about that. Today we're going to talk about why you should write unclean code. And what I mean by unclean code is that in a in a code that is really unreadable. And I actually am a firm believer of why you should write write unclean code. So like if you look at the top CP competitive programmers, especially in in competitive programming, right? In competitive programming, the faster you solve the problem, and pass all the tests, the more points you get, right? So we have to think about like, why do you want to write clean code in the first place? Like, okay, so when you write clean code in, in a production side, you write clean code because you want to see the code again, right? You want to, um, you want to maintain the code so you could add more features to it, right? Now, the difference is that is that in production pro programs, in production code, your coding is generally there to add more features to maintain the base, right? So other people, your coworkers, your boss, anyone else could see what your code is doing. But in programming contests, when you're trying to maximize the number of points you get, you don't actually really, you don't need to maintain your code. Like it's actually, it might actually be better if you may have unreadable code. Like if you look at the, the all the top CP programmers, a lot of them use a bunch of macros and a lot of them, you, it's just not readable, right? None of these are readable, right? You might, you just looking at this is very difficult to understand what's going on, right? Like rep Q, this is a macro, read tree, read graph, so on and so forth. And the reason why they do this is because one, they're trying to make the fastest algorithm possible, right? To pass all the tests. Essentially, that's what they're trying to do in a minimum number of times. So if you're going trying to maximize that, you need to, to make all your variable names very short, right? Because if you make your all your variable names very short, you're more likely to type faster. One, you're more likely to type faster. And two, you're more likely to submit first. So if you submit first and you pass all the cases like um, Marunk and uh, Anta or Dimitri, right? You, once you submit all very fast and pass the test very fast, you get higher points. Like he got 498 points from this, right? Just from submitting A very fast. And when you submit faster, you're more up, like you're higher up on the rank. So you could go on to the next problem faster. So it's actually better for you in competitive programming to write unreadable code, code that you do, like other people don't understand. You get what I'm saying? Because if, um, if you think about this, if you write unreadable code, if uh, as long as you type very fast and you write very fast and it pass the test, you get more points. So it's better to write unreadable code this way. Another thing is that it prevents you from being hacked. Like I don't, I'm not saying like you just make all your code like completely unreadable, but I'm saying like you shouldn't, you don't have to care about if other people are reading it or not. Like if if if, if another person's code is uh, very difficult to understand. So let's say we're, let's go up to like this duality, right? Just look how, how difficult this code is under. Actually, this is a little bit easy to understand, but um, let's say like uh, the macros this is very difficult to understand, right? The macros actually kind of still could understand a, a bit, but if you look at the macros, this is very difficult to understand. And um, if you're trying to prevent getting hacked, let's say uh, on code forces, it doesn't really matter that much, but on, on at coder, uh, not at coder, on top coder, it does matter, right? Um, if you write co unreadable code that is like very short and kind of very hard to be able to read it, other people can't read it and they can't hack you, right? So when I say hack is like they could find different test cases to break your code. Um, it's actually better in that case to have another person not be able to read it because you're less likely to get hacked. Um, and the problem is that like if, if you do get hacked, um, you, you, it means that you... Ideally, like I, I think if when you get hacked, I, I don't think you could submit again, but I could be wrong. So um, when you get hacked on top coder or stuff like that, you lose points and then 
you you just can't submit it, it in the in the end. So it's actually better to have unreadable code so you more likely not to get hacked. Ideally, if you write perfect code, you wouldn't get hacked in the first place because like your code is fine. But this is just like a tip for like all the great coders out there who's trying to increase your ranking. But I, I digress. That's pretty much the reason why I believe in competitive program you should write unreadable code. The two main reasons is one is that you're, there's no reason to maintain the code. No one else is going to really read it. You're not going to build like a new feature of it. And you're not really, you're not getting paid to do anything, right? So it's unless you're trying to win a prize. But regardless, your 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 code, once you write it, you submit it, and you just throw it away. So in the first place, there's no reason to maintain it. No reason to have long variable names. There's no reason for any of that. You're just trying to get the most amount of points possible. So your code could be completely garbage. That's what I mean. That's actually a good thing. It helps you helps you get higher points and increase to the ranking. If your goal is to get higher ranking, it makes more sense to have your code very unreadable or very short and very difficult to read. No long variable names, stuff like that. Another thing is that if you do fail the system tests, as in your code didn't pass all the cases, to prevent getting hacked, having unreadable code like stops you from getting hacked, so from losing more points, especially on top coder and stuff. But yeah, that's basically my main reasons why I think how unreadable code is a is a good thing. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. This was a pretty short video because like I don't know, I felt bad not being able to upload, so I might as well make this video. But yeah, rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.